Hello everyone, and welcome back to When the Past Was Around, our journey along melodies and memories as we piece together what seems to be the memories of the young woman that we are following. And right now, we seem to be in a really bright and beautiful place where she is surrounded by plants and life and lusciousness. I wonder if in her memories she remembers all of these plants even if they didn't really exist. Wouldn't it be amazing if our memories worked like that? We remembered things as more lush when we were really joyful and happy and perhaps more barren even if there were actually plants around us when we weren't. But we're carrying on with exploring, oh dear, the fact that there's a fire hydrant makes me a little worried. We're carrying on with exploring her memories and right now it is time to serve some cookies. So let's come on over and serve the cookies for them to enjoy. There they go. And it seems these two music lovers are having a very good time. And then what happens with the final cookie? Oh, of course, split in half. That's adorable. <laughs> and then she took another half. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And they're holding hands. A little tea time symphony. Oh, and he took a picture that's cute with a little Polaroid. I wonder if he kept a joy journal too. Oh, look at that. Oh, but I wonder if his version of a joy journal would have been full of music, the sounds of the life that he was living. All right, where to now? Onwards to another memory. It looks like that's where we're going. Oh, they look so happy. It makes my heart hesitate a little to think about how we're carrying on. About where we might end up. Wow. I think they were really, really in love. They had something special. Look at this. Seashells, flowers, and coral. Alright, here's some of the coral. And then the flowers, huh? Oh, to put all those things in there? Okay, so he wants coral in his. Oh, no, 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 yeah, they want the coral. And then I wonder, what about the flower? There we go. <laughs> They're making like a little memory spot. How fun. All right, let's see. So where do we go next? We want to find a seashell and a little sea star. Hmm. And I wonder if we want to fold the little pennants to put on that castle. Oh, there's a little pennant for the castle. They even shared some ice cream? Are you kidding me? Why is that adorable? M-D-A-E-T Aww, M-Y-D-E-A-R-E-S-T My... I wonder if that says something. My... My dearest! It says my dearest! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> She's so happy right now and I just don't think that that's gonna stay the same and it makes me so nervous. Alright, so now we can do a little more searching. So my dearest... And we can add one of... So I think we would need to fold the last little crown. So then let's see. Oh, there we go. I had a feeling we would find something around here. And we need to open up that crate somehow, I think. All right, let's add the sea star. So now we're only missing the sea shell. And since we can go back to the other room, I have a suspicion that we need to go back and forth a little bit. I wonder if this is supposed to be lined up to be like my dearest, let's see. So what did the my dearest look like? Okay. M Y so hmm. M Y D E A R E S T. So let's try opening things up that way then, just in case. 
back into these memories. Did that work? Curses. All right, so that wasn't exactly what we needed to do. Okay, so I'm gonna have to unravel that. I think we're supposed to use the matches somewhere. We already used the matches for lighting some of the papers. So let's see. What else might we need to do here? If anything. Anything else to collect here? Maybe not. Anything for the seashell here? No, I think, wait. Something in the sink? No, I think the sink just was the other result. Let's see. My dearest, so, hmm. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. Bumping into puzzles like this always is a little bit of a head scratcher. But we can at least, oh, there's the last pennant that we need. Ah, sea turtle! <laughs> okay, that was precious. That was the next thing we needed to find the seashell. I love that. That was so cute. So now we have the seashells all lined up. Now what are you up to? You want to write something to one another? Oh, write a note! Oh, My dearest Edda and Owl. So they call each other Edda and Owl. I love that. Like they're setting a little dream free out to sea. And it does seem like his joy journal is one composed of the music that they create together. That's really beautiful. All right, now where to, you two? These adventures are leaving behind a trail of a few unsolved mysteries each time. But they really are traveling from memory to memory. Now we're camping. Oh, this is charming. I love how they seem to be perpetually chilly. Wow. It really is better to make those kinds of memories, isn't it? I think, and I say this as someone who has been in love for a very long time now. I have been with the love of my life for seven years now. And there was growing to be done, especially at the beginning, to find out if we were meant for the long, long, long time, the long haul. But we married six months ago. And I can definitely say that this is a beautiful reminder that you want to go out and you want to craft some of those memories. You can do that at home as well. But to do something out of the ordinary sometimes, even just so that you can remember how beautiful the ordinary when you get to share your life with someone or share a dream with someone is. Hmm. All right, come along, you guys. There we go. So we'll get you warmed up there. And then what's going on over here? Do I want that little stick that is so cute that I get? Oh! Oh my, okay. One, two, three, four, five, huh? Huh, okay. One, two, three, four, okay. I think we're going back an hour each time. So, we would want one, two, wait, let me follow this, okay. One, two, I see, three, four, so five would have the hour hand right here. And then I think it would have the minute hand right there. 
At least that's what I thought. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe that's correct with the hour hand. Hmm. And then the minute hand. One, yeah, two, three, and then every time it moves, it's moving by, let's see, one, and then two would be four moves. One, two, three, four, and hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to unravel the mystery of that in just a minute, because that's definitely going to be something to untangle. Oh, and oh, how fun. So we probably wanna find Let's see. Something that lines up just right there's oh there's a little dipper, how fine! But that's not the one we're looking for, I don't think, unless Oh wait, yeah, I think this is the one we're looking for. So how do we line this up just right so that it really reflects the night sky just perfectly? Is it this one that we'll want to use? Oh, that one's missing its top. Okay. Uh, there we go. We'll just take the lens off of... Oh, there! Alright. 115, 215. Oh, and hang on one second. So... What about this piece? Okay. I need a pair of scissors! Oh, I get it now! So one is 115, two, so then three would be uh, two o'clock, four would be 215, or let's see, let's see, by 15, so three would be 240, no, no, it's moving by 15, oh, it's silly me. So 145, two, 215. All right, let's try that out. So then you would be 215? Is that it? Hmm. Huh. I don't think that those clocks are quite saying what I thought they were saying. All right, I'm gonna play with that just a little bit. Let's try this out. Oh, I opened up, I opened up the, the lock. <laughs> All right, I got the hour hand and the minute hand mixed up, but once I fixed that, then we were totally fine. And now I have a pair of scissors, and so now we can come over to the telescope. And there we go. Oh, there's an owl constellation. How fun is that? Wow, look at how beautiful it is. So now we've gone ahead and found that. And I think we can just line it up just so. I wonder if we need to line the other one up to match it somehow. Or maybe there's another constellation on this side somewhere. Let's see. Anything else we need to see in the sky? No, I think we did good there. And now we want to come on down. And we want to try putting together. There we go. So cut each piece, and then we want to fold the pieces just so. There we go. And then another one. And... Alright, we look like that. So now I think we need a little nail and a stick. And we should be able to put together the little pendant that they want. So now we need to find ourselves a nail and a stick. I have a stick right over here, but I don't exactly know how to get it. So let's look around for any other clues. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that is just to let you know you needed to fix the other telescope. And now I think we need to head back into our memories to collect things for the other clues. Like the fact that we need to open up that box somehow. Hang on, my dear. We'll follow him through those memories soon. All right, I think we found everything that we were supposed to get for the ice cream. 
But my dearest, I mean, there has to be a secret there. So, oh, maybe the spots that have marks? So maybe two, one, 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 one. So maybe two, two marks across the top because there's extra, extra little spots next to the letters. So kind of an L, one, I think that's just a normal fancy S. So the bottom, and then, okay, let's see if that's actually what I'm supposed to do. So back into this memory we go. And then, is that it? <laughs> Curses. Every time I think I might be a little bit closer to this mystery. We're a little further away than I thought. All right, because I think that that is the last bit. Yeah, that's the last mystery we need to solve, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we already managed to gather everything from there. So now, just to unravel the question of what does my dearest mean? <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, my friends, but hidden away in the, the picnic basket, the picnic basket, happens to be a final secret clue, it seems. I searched everywhere, high and low, scouring through the sand and along the campsites, staring and trying to understand what on earth could be going on with the lock that is clearly hiding away something that we need. And then I came back here and noticed we can eat the sandwich. <gasps> Look. E D A Ed Ed Oh Edna Edna is the name I believe of the girl that we are following, and if we go over, my dearest, inside of the word my dearest or the words I should say, if we come over here to the ice cream, E D A E D A. <laughs> it would have taken me so long to unravel that by pure chance, but if we step back through the doors of her memory and come over here. Let's see, E, D, A. Is that it? <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, and you had to add the little period, but we did it, okay, we have a crowbar now. And I happen to know a crate that is very much in need of a crowbar. So, can I make this magical date night just perfect for them? Let's find out. And we'll come over here. Now we've got the pin. We have got the little pin wheel. Oh, how <laughs> lovely. And look at all the little pin wheel flowers that have just spun and spun and spun around them. All right, how to convince these, these two to come and stare at the owl. So we need to somehow get them to come see the owl constellation, I think. I'm not exactly sure how to, you know, be like, pardon me, if you just look over into the sky, you'll be able to see him. Is the owl rushing at something? And maybe we need to line that up? I just feel like they're, oh, down here. Aha! And a finch. Oh. <laughs> Writing more of that song of memory. I wish I had enough talent and skill and knowledge to be able to write the song of my heart. Oh, and they write that bit together. And all the things I love into a beautiful music form that way. Oh, that's so enchanting. I may not be able to make music, but at least I can tell stories and follow along on their adventures. So let's see where this one is going to take us next, my friends. <sighs> A life where they're very happy together. But I wonder what went wrong. Is he okay? Everything seems okay right now. 
Okay. Oh, that's charming. I was really worried for a second. I wonder what it would sound like to listen to our hearts singing when we're happy. I wonder what the music of joy is. Here we go.